Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you my first spaceship uh, because again, uh, I'm Spooky Fairy and we're going to create a spooky spaceship. Basically, I wanted something with all of the cargo is going to be shielded, uh, something modular so it'd be easy for me to take things out. Again, again, this is just the first phase and as I visit more places, I'm going to add more stuff into it. So the idea was to create kind of a serpent with Ferrari where I'm going to put the weapons, uh, kind of a yellow, black, and I wanted to add another red color uh, to the top as well so I'd be able to kind of, uh, you know, know where the weaponry is. I mean, it's just supposed to look more deadly, basically, the top part. Now, of course, I want this enough space for crewmates. I also built a lot of all the storage is actually shielded and I, I made it modular because i wanted it to be very easy to move in space and i, I know i knew that i'm going to extend it as well so i need to work to make it very easy to gain access to certain areas improve it and change uh regarding the weapons i know they're going to improve and later on they didn't put a lot of emphasis so do i put them there uh yeah it has to be lengthy and kind of intimidating as well but because it was my first time actually creating a spaceship, uh, I got some, of course, warning and arrows, and I just learned as I go. Uh, it's not, of course, it's not hard. I'm going to share with you in a video uh, some tips and tricks later on in another video. But overall, it was uh, quite uh, simplistic and not hard to build it. And from that point on, of course, I can build anything I want because I know how to do things. I also use color to color it uh, so it will look uh, cool rather than let it stay the same as it is. The choice was color like black and yellow and red to the top. <laughs> I made sure that the storage uh, uh, of the ship was actually behind so we can actually extend it if I wanted to. Although I have quite a lot, I think 3k something like that, but I can easily extend it with more. And this means that I can just put anything there without worrying about being detected, even not needing the jammer uh, to try to get percentage to prevent the scanner for you know know that i'm carrying contraband so there's no problem with that now because everything is shielded so more again most of the items are high class uh you know good quality items and very easy to modify and i'm going to extend it as well later on but i'm quite happy if, considering this is the spaceship that i was building The cool thing is that the ship builder has enough uh, items, and I'm sure we're going to add later on more. But the thing is that there are already so many items, especially if we're traveling to other locations, uh, which you're going to discover more items as well. But overall, you have lots of creative options to kind of express yourself. Uh, again, lots of ways to express yourself creatively and create some really amazing spaceships. Again, so this is the first uh, iteration. Uh, which I'm going to change, but you can see kind of a Ferrari like at the top and kind of Serpent dangerous black and yellow uh, type of uh, front mid and yeah and the entrance is from the left side of it as you can see at the bottom super cool now i'm actually motivated to get to other places and try to find new items and continue improving it you can actually see the yellow uh, uh, and black boxes in there you see those those are the shielded ones very easy to access i can extend them if i want to instead of putting them anywhere in the you know the inside of the ship uh, so it's very easy to extend it if i wanted to you can also see the shielded the rounded one yeah super cool of course the other thing cool about uh having a spaceship you can get inside <laughs> so cool uh get inside and see how it looks from the inside uh, it's important to build it well, uh, so it'd be comfortable to maneuver, but again, it's not crucial. Uh, but yeah, it's just more fun. And of course, uh, getting to the cockpit and seeing the view of the spaceship, you know, in large scale, it's just, magnific it's just magnificent. I was just stoked getting into it. And my first uh, flight with it. So I'm detaching here, and you can see that uh, how it looks from the you know, here, flying in third-person perspective. Beautiful. I put again the engines both at the top and on the right. Uh, yeah, it just looks lovely with different colors. You see, yellow and the top one red. Probably gonna you know play with it just a bit later on, but right now it's not important. I was actually happy with the first, uh, first rendition. And in the grab jump, you can actually say close up of the 
shielded these are the shielded storage so that's my first spaceship i'm going to create many more i have some crazy ideas that i'm actually writing down so i'm going to work on them later on but right now we're going to continue with the campaign i want to finish it and i'm quite happy with this um yeah and um, tell me what you think about it if you have other ideas let me know about different ideas maybe going to create some of them Again, just let me know in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, more coming, so make sure to subscribe maybe to my channel. And uh, yeah, if you have finished the campaign, I'm going to be more creative with spaceships. Uh, so yeah, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.